Could you introduce yourself, please? My name is Evelyn Wilson. Um, what brought you to Carlisle, or how did your parents come to Carlisle? Okay. I came here in 1968. My husband was in the military, stationed at the Carlisle Barracks. That's when I came here and I had three children, three boys. And uh, uh, I don't know if you want the names, but their names are James, Michael, and Roger. James, three boys, James, Michael, and Roger. And uh, my husband, uh, he was in the military, and um, I, um, I was mo mostly a homemaker, you know, I stayed home, but then I started working at the post over at the PX, Post Exchange, I started working there. Oh, well first I worked at the uh, daycare, and that was like in the 70s, I worked at the daycare at the Carlisle Barracks, and then I went from there to the Post Exchange. About in the 80s I did that. And then I had another job. I worked at the school cafeteria in the 90s. So um, that was mo mostly my work that I did. But uh, when, when we first moved here in Carlisle, like I said, it was in 1968, and we were uh, stationed, my husband was stationed at the barracks, and we lived in the Stanwix apartment. They were military housing, so we lived there. And then he retired from the military, and then we moved over on uh, North Pitt Street. And we were the first black family that lived across the railroad track. And I was really surprised because of, uh, I, I didn't know, you know, because being in the military, you know, you just, everybody lived together, you know, white and black, they all lived together. And uh, my kids went to school here in Carlisle. And um, we, uh, my husband decided to stay here. He, he was going to stay in the military, but then he decided he would retire. So he went on the police force for 25 years. And uh, I was working then too. So um, I, I, I had a, you know, I, I thought Carlisle, I think Carlisle is a great place to live. We, we, we decided we were going to go back to Virginia because that's my home. But we decided to stay here because I like the schools here. So that, that's one reason that we stayed here, so the kids could go to school. And my husband had a job here, too. So, so that's mostly what it is. And uh, my uh, kids are all grown. I have six grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. And, uh, but my husband, he passed away last May. So uh, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm doing OK. So. Uh, but he was, he, he was my best friend, but he's gone. But uh, so that's just about it. Okay. Um, what do you think has improved from your time entering Carlisle to the present? Uh, for myself, I, I don't know <laughs> about anybody else, but uh, I, I think, uh, let me see. Um, mm, mm. I think the race relations have, have improved. I think it has improved. Of course, uh, like I said, I, I didn't experience a lot of it when I came here because of my husband, you know, his job and where I lived, but I knew, I knew it was here, you know, I knew it was here. So, um, but, um, and my kids, they, I don't think they experienced anything. I, you know, if they did, I don't know, so. Um, do you think anything has gotten worse in Carlisle? No. No? No. Um, the, the only thing that I think that they need jobs, you know, uh, but I don't, I, I don't think things have gotten worse. Um, has your opinion of Carlisle changed throughout the years of you living here? What'd you say? Um, has your opinion of Carlisle changed since uh, the time of you living here? No. no. Um, what was your opinion of, of the Dickinson College? Do you, did you have any opinion about it? Was it integrated into the community? Do you not think that there's a I, I don't. There? I don't have no opinion about it. I know I had uh, my, I have a, my uh, grandchildren, mother worked there 
And uh, she worked there for 15 years, but I don't know what happened. She never did tell me what, I mean, I've, I've heard things about Dickinson College. I don't know if it's had anything to do with race, but I've heard a lot of things. And I knew, I know a couple of people, they had jobs and they quit. They just quit the job. I, I don't know why. Um, were there any major events that you remember when you were living here? For example, uh, my partner and I were researching the history of Carlisle. We found out that Martin Luther King actually came here to do a speech in Carlisle. Was there any of that magnitude? I wasn't. I must not have been here when he. Do you remember him coming here to speak, Martin mm -hmm. Luther King? No. He no. was over at the college. Oh. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> He did, he, apparently he did a speech. Like maybe that. I wasn't here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he was, but I, I don't remember that. Okay. But I do. I do remember a time uh, when um, Clinton, President Clinton, came here, mm -hmm. and my husband. He was so excited about that. He he was at the truck stop down on the bike, mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was very excited about President Clinton when he came. That you know. So. Um. What do you hope will change in Carlisle? Oh my God, Jesus. <laughs> well, uh, like I said, I, I, I just think that mm, there's a lot of changes need to be done. Just, okay, we had the, uh, we had this bus, this circular bus that came, was into town, it came into call out. Now they're getting rid of that, and I, I don't know why, I don't know why they're getting rid of it. I don't know what happened. And uh, I thought it was a good thing because of, you know people could get to their jobs. That's another thing. They, a lot of people, well, they complain. They, I can't get to my job because I don't have a ride. And I don't know why the bus left. I don't know. That was one of the, one of the things that I wish could have stayed, you know. But uh, I, uh, I love living in Carlisle. I, uh, like I say, I, we had thought that we would go back to Virginia, but we're here, so. Um, just one last question. If there was anything that you could change about Carlisle, um, oh, that's and had right. <laughs> no repercussions for changing it, what would you change about it? Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm tr um, the, the things, the thing that I would like to change, and I, you know what, I don't, I don't know if it will ever change because I'm a Christian, you know, and I think they said the poor will always be with us. That it'll never change. That it'll, it'll always be poor people. But I, I just wish that um, we had better housing. I, I don't think, I, I don't think the housing situation is good here and um, I, mm, I'm trying to think and um, and then like I said it's gonna always be a race thing it'll, 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 it'll never change it will it the only way it's gonna change is when we get to heaven God have to change that and I think that that's another we need to race relations you know we need to change that oh God, that's my phone let it ring um, all right, I think that's it. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Thank you so much right. for your time. It was nice meeting you.